Hi, my name is Ralph Levesque. I'm an art teacher. Right. Yeah, and uh, I'll tell you, uh, one of the reasons I got into art is uh, because reading all those books and back in the 50s and such, you know, uh, I was influenced as, a, you know, I thought it was a sculptural piece. And I've always been interested in car design as an art form. And um, George and, and his, and his uh, brother Sam really influenced me a lot, I'll tell you, in, in all my thinking all through the years. Tell me a little bit about the the concept of the, of the uh, intake scoop and the intake pipes on top of the hood. Well, those those are 56. These are 56 Buick portholes, which is a, uh, one of the things he used a lot in the in the 50s. I even had a 54 Ford back in the 50s that I put those in, and uh, I noticed they. I, I was very influenced by those little trend books back in the 50s. Oh yeah, that's, that's part where, of George's past. Right, and uh, a lot of the articles on how to do it and everything else. Matter of fact, I picked up on that from this. I see. That's a 57 uh, Thunderbird hood scoop that somebody took off to build a drag car to cut a hole in the roof. And uh, again, that's that's another influence. All the, this round rod and all this rod stuff is a big influence from George and Sam. Yeah, yeah. I, I noticed that you have a lot of features yeah. on the fenders mm -hmm. and critical lines that accent the headlights. Uh, you've done away with direct chrome around the lights and featured it with a lot of detail around the lights. I also noticed that you brought some of the uh, highlighting lines into the fenders. Yeah, that's all done with that's all done with uh, round rod welded right right to the fender itself. And, and then shaped all, in. And then shaped in. Yeah. Uh, tell me something, uh, what was the concept here? Well, I wanted to get some kind of a concave look in there too. And actually, that's a functional scoop. The, the air actually comes out from the wheel well and it comes right out of there. Is that right? This is actually built from a 36 Ford headlight. Cut in half, slice in half, and we put inside of it. How do you like that? That's an old trick, too. I'm, I'm noticing that the scoop on the rear fender is different than anything I've ever seen. Explain the reason for the detail. Um, it was just like the forms that's really what it is you like yeah. the form yeah and it's done with the I, wire uh that's the this is actually these are bumper guards right here these are bumper guards from a uh, i think a mustang i welded them right into this group. this is all sheet metal with round rod here that's actually functional too and uh these believe it or not are not rod these are actually little shelf supports that i saw at a hardware store with that tapered look so I've been using whatever whatever fits, you know. To very good. So let's take a look at the back here. I, I noticed that you got some new detail in the wing area. Yeah. Well, th this is the, actually this is 50 Cadillac from here to here. Is that right? Yeah. And I welded right into the Chevrolet fender. Actually, I tucked the fenders in a little bit this way and added this gas door. This gas door is actually from a Volkswagen. I say. Yeah. And uh, then I added another four inches on here. This uh, this uh, used to come all the way down here. I welded that shut. This is uh, like a pancake trunk. You know, operates from a. Uh, very good.